In just six months, eight French scientists have developed the most advanced AI real-time voice and language model. And this model is so fast that it not only responds to your question and queries immediately, it can actually interrupt you in the middle. Uh, I'm going to climb Mount Everest next month and okay. I... And I that's incredible. What kind of gear do you need to bring? Well, that's what I wanted to talk about, actually. What do you think I need? Well, you'll definitely need some climbing gear. And yes, that is absolutely a good thing. This is Qtai and the new AI model Moshi. And I believe this model will absolutely revolutionize voice assistants. So let's talk about it. The speed of AI research is just literally beginning to accelerate. And the things that smaller teams are able to achieve right now are completely mind boggling. And so a previously mostly unknown AI research lab has just unveiled a new AI model capable of real-time voice communication. But unlike previous models, it not only replies immediately, it actually can interrupt you while you're still speaking because it can think and talk at the same time. Uh, Moshi can listen and generate audio, but it's not the only thing. It also thinks as it speaks. We'll start with a little bit of the hype from the presentation before switching to testing the model ourselves and seeing where it actually is. So first, what can it do? Well, Moshi has an amazing latency of 160 milliseconds. At least that's the theoretical latency. The real one, the practical one, is still around 200 milliseconds, which is crazy. It's a lot faster than any other model until now. We are presenting today the first ever released real-time voice AI. And when you talk to it, it can actually feel like talking to a real human being. The team at Qtai also built the Helium language model, which is kind of like their own transformer-based language model that works together with Moshi to support language and speech at the same time. Yeah. They also designed their own text-to-speech engine, which is one of the most flexible and realistic ones I've ever heard. I can express more than 70 emotions and speaking styles. Like whispering. Or maybe I could sing a song. I can sound terrified. Or impersonate a pirate, ahoy matey. <clears throat> I can even speak with a very French accent, just like my inventors. <laughs> Looking forward to interacting with you. And it can do it in absolutely in real time while supporting accents, expressions, and, and sounding really realistic. It sounds like a human is speaking much better than what we saw from OpenZI GPT-40 demo. And the craziest thing is that this whole model can actually run on device. It can run on your laptop. So it's a standard uh, MacBook Pro. And what I will just do is I will go on this tab, turn off the internet. Same model that you've seen, uh, like that was running on the cloud, but no, just on device. Hello, what's up? Hey, can you tell me your name, please? Oh, sure. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling pretty well. And you? That's great. I'm Moshi. And, and of course, it can run on a server as well, but it doesn't need crazy computing power to run in real time. And they're actually working on a mobile version as well. So it will be able to run on device on your cell phone, not even in the cloud with no internet connection. Okay, that so far is, is really amazing. It's really impressive, especially when you consider that it's only eight people doing it for six months. Um. It's, it's... it's completely mind-boggling. So how did they achieve that? Well, what is unique is that they trained the text model together with the language model or the voice model at the same time. So basically when the model generates its response tokens, it doesn't generate text that then it converts to voice. It actually generates voice immediately together with the text response. And that's how it, they can achieve this extremely fast latency. She has a theoretical latency of 160 milliseconds. And we measure a latency between 200 and 240 milliseconds. They also hired a voice actor to help train the text-to-speech model and kind of recreate all the different voices, emotions, sounds. And maybe, just maybe, you'll find what you're looking for. And even the team being from France, to recreate the French accent. Speak with a French accent and tell me a poem about Paris. Paris, the city of love, where time stands still. Which I find pretty cool, but absolutely useless. 
And if all of that is not enough, they developed their own audio codec called Mimi, which can compress audio with almost no major audible loss and make it 300 times smaller than an MP3 file. I mean, this is also pretty, pretty crazy. And while building this infrastructure, they made sure that the whole pipeline is fully streaming at all times. So at no point does any part of the pipeline waiting for the input from the previous part of the pipeline. The whole time it streams from the input tokens all the way to the audio output on the other side. And that's how they achieve such low latency and so such fast response time. So who is Qtai? I mean, we never heard that name before and never heard of most of the people in the team before either. Well, while it might seem that Qtai have came out of nowhere, the reality is that the team behind it is very, very strong. The team has years of experience in AI research in France, and Qtai is also supported by leaders in the French industry and Google's ex-CEO, Eric Schmidt. Just looking at some of the code and research that the team members of Qtai have delivered in the past, you see that this whole research is not coming out of nowhere. Those are experienced researchers that just reunited and created a new lab. But all of them come with years of experience before that. And interestingly enough, France is really becoming a central hub for AI research. We're having a large part of Meta's and Hugging Faces labs or have research labs in Paris, or the founders actually come from France. 11 out of 14 of the core team members of Meta's Lama are French, and all the founding members of Hugging Face are French, of French origin, even if the company itself is based in the US. Lately, everybody's favorite topic when we discuss large language models or voice models is safety. And I absolutely love how Qtai's CEO have giggled. At, at, at Qtai, at, at Qtai we, are, we laugh a lot, as you, 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 you might have noticed, but we are also very serious about safety. <laughs> so yeah. It made me a little bit uneasy, but at the same time, I must say that uh, what we saw lately with models such as Stable Diffusion 3 and other like GPT uh, latest versions, that are very like the so locked down because of safety to a point when being almost useless that I'm I'm happy that some companies are taking safety less seriously while those are still research projects. So let it rip and then when it's ready and fully functioning, maybe then puts it on some guardrails or something. Qtide mentioned that they created a database storing signatures of generated synthetic media or like generated voice and also they embed a watermark into the sound that is being generated so that's kind of like the first steps towards safety i'm not sure they didn't elaborate too much on the safety database or like the stored tokens database where it's stored and, and how it's going to be used and with it being an open source model i'm pretty sure that it's going to be very easy to generate new audio generation that will not be in the database like as the, the research is there there's going to be open development and qtai did not elaborate too much on what safety features they will embed into it so what can you do right now well remember that this is an experimental research prototype it is right now publicly available online the link is in the description you can go and play with it right now. It's impressive, it's very impressive, but some of the things are still not there yet. Check out this example that I tied earlier. Hey, how's your day? It's been pretty good, how is yours? It's been great, thanks for asking. How about you? Well, I've been planning to travel around Italy and I would like some pointers. Can you make art with lasagna? Absolutely. You can use any kind of art supplies you have on hand, such as paint or crayons, to decorate the lasagna before baking. Are you sure I should be using crayons inside the lasagna? Yes, you can use crayons inside the lasagna. Just make sure to wrap the lasagna tightly in aluminum foil to keep the crayons inside. I mean, this is hilarious, but I wouldn't want that to be production just yet. And since Qtai is primarily a research lab, unlike some not so open AI company we all know and love. They are releasing the model, the papers and the code to the public. So we'll be able to work on that and research and learn from that model as well. Awesome work.
Okay, Moshi is obviously still a research project, but it's already a very impressive one. And a small team in a very short time have been able to achieve something that not Google in the Gemini or Apple with the new Siri version or OpenAI with the GPT-40 has been able to achieve. And I find this fascinating. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here on this channel, I talk about tech, gadget, AI, and coding. And if you're into this, consider subscribing. I'll see you next time I feel like making a video. Bye.